this is actually being filmed somewhat backwards because the first part didn't save the first time, which, ugh. So here we are again. Okay, so many years ago, gel pens were like the height of fashion and I was nostalgic and I got these as a gift, which I am using to color code, which works well you know, making sure that I find things quickly, which will come in handy. And it got me thinking, well, what other writing instruments would people feel nostalgic about? Keep in mind that these do run out very, very quickly, so I might need more eventually. Anyway, well, I was also thinking of those magic markers back when I was in elementary school that smelled like fruit. And if you had them, what were your favorites? I liked the pink marker, which smelled a lot like melon. And I liked the turqu turquoise marker or light blue that smelled like mango, strangely enough, because mangoes are orange and yellow, but hey, Melon isn't really gen generally pink anyway, but I, I am not about to complain because it smelled delightful to me. I was a kid and I still love the color pink. It's my favorite. I also like baby blue and black for when I'm wearing neutrals. Anyway, so it got me thinking of other things that I'm nostalgic about which I'm talking about in the other half, which of the American dolls are you, or which of the, f of the American dolls do you like best? And so on and so forth. So stay tuned and I love y'all. There were two main favorites, but I also loved the originals from Felicity to Samantha and even Kirsten all of whom had had a really, really big, big bad time. And yet, even in moments of prosperity, still worked hard and still helped other people. Which, yes, you can still love and you can still give help even if you have had it crappy. Also, history is fun. And that was where I've got my first taste of a love for history and then went further. Um, there were no Roman girls. Uh, I think this was meant to be American history, but I'd love to see what they would do with, say, a, Fla a Flavia. Not to worry, I have a book suggestion for you and that is the com I have the complete set of the Roman Mysteries starring Flavia Gemina. I highly recommend it. The whole book will take a lot of time, but it's great if you have a lot of appointments. Uh, you can also buy an installments, you know, book one, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I bought it for, I got it for my, I got the whole set, the big, big, big book for my birthday a couple years ago, and I am still thrilled. Uh, with me, people will ask me, oh, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? And I'm thinking, books? And for some reason, some people are like, okay, but what do you want? And it's like, uh, warm socks and books? I mean, I'm not picky here. Although, you know, if you want to buy me a Lexus, I'm not going to argue with you. If you want to buy me a Mini Cooper with a hearse kit, I'm not going to argue with you. You know, I might be like, oh, you shouldn't have, but I'm probably also going to throw my arms around you and be like, I love you so much. So, um, there's your book suggestion for you, and, uh, what weird things get you feeling warm and nostalgic? Love you very much, and, oh yeah, happy Father's Day. I definitely, sh I have, um, I suppose friends who have acted as fathers to me over the years, uh, because I haven't really had mine around for a very long time. So for them, I thank you very, very much for being there. And I wish I'd put this at the beginning, but you are loved and 
keep being awesome for all of you. You are loved. Big love. Thank you so much for all you do and uh, keep being awesome. <laughs>